On this outing, even though we had the tipping jig set up with minnows as a tip-up, we found that most of the action came while using the tipping jig rod and jigging on the bottom. I have a feeling it's because the whitefish weren't really looking to feed, but because we were manipulating the jig on the bottom, we were getting them to strike and they were hitting very lightly. The one thing that I like about the tip and jig system is that I was able to go down to the light action rod and I even played around with the five foot long rod that you can use if you're open water fishing with the tip up or even through the ice where you want to get a little bit of distance between your hole or where your sonar is. And if you're fish for fish that fight hard like trout or steelhead through the ice, the long rod gives you a lot more torque if you're using light line. So the tip and jig is versatile because you can use it as a tip up or for jigging, and you'll catch lots of fish. Good job. Easy does it. Could be an eater. Yeah. Easy does it. Perfect. Now, this one's got a fin clip on it. He does. So it's definitely a certain stock year class. So we didn't talk. You, you uh, get the lure out so that uh, we can handle the fish. Now this is interesting, look, James, we talked about earlier, you know, if the fish are still being stocked, they are, right? So some, they, they clip, this one you can see has one of the pelvic fins clipped. Sometimes they have the adipose clipped or one of the front fins. This lake has a great put, grow and take fishery. So a lot of the fishermen that come out here, you know, try to get their two fish for eating. I know most of the guys probably that you see are taking the fish off the ice, right? And if they get more, they release them carefully. But these guys, I think, grow really fast. I'm guessing that that guy's about a four to five year old. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because they can get pretty big. You said earlier that you saw a fish that was like 10 pounds. 10, we were last week, we caught two over 10. Wow, those are monsters, gorgeous fish. White fish are bottom feeding fish. And one really important detail when you're fishing for them is to fish between one to two feet of the bottom. I like to fish for them right on the bottom, whether I'm using live bait or I'm jigging. If you're gonna be jigging with a vertical jigging spoon or a jigging lure or a blade bait, you don't need really big jigs. Maybe every once in a while to attract a fish that's off in the distance. But when you think there's a fish close to you or you see one on your ice sonar, just make very short shaking action on the bottom. Whitefish are great sport through the ice. They fight really hard when you hook them, especially if they're up to four, five, six pounds. They fight much like a trout. They'll head shake, they'll roll in the line, and they'll even run horizontally. And one thing that's tough to do is when you get them close to the ice hole, you have to be very careful whether you're using bait with just a single hook or a lure with one or more treble hooks, that as you're bringing the fish up, especially if the ice hole is pretty deep, about one to two feet or even more, when you get its head close to the hole, you gotta be careful that you don't get the hook stuck on the side of the ice. A lot of times that's when a whitefish will tear off. Whitefish have very soft mouths and they don't have any contours. So once you hook one, the hook will stay in there, but you gotta be gentle and have your drag set right. Not only are they great to catch through the ice or in the summertime, but they have a nice white flaky meat that is delicious on the table. 